Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Auburn goes to Fayetteville and blasts the must bus. This one was as shocking as any game today for me. I thought for sure Auburn was going to go in there and get smacked. And instead they did the smacking. And Arkansas is talented and they got Metafield back recently. Brazil, super talented. They got a lot, a lot of good players, but what the hell is wrong with Arkansas, Rob? Uh, they they quit in that game. You could see that they just kind of gave up when they, the lead got to about 10, 12 early in the second half, and you could just see the heads go like this. And there was one point where Devo Davis got a technical foul for uh, for pushing um, – I forget who it was. It was uh, Chad Baker Mazzara, and he goes to the bench, and he puts on his warm-ups, and he goes and sits directly behind the bench. And uh, we know that Musk coaches hard, and sometimes it takes a while for that chemistry to develop. The chemistry has not developed with that Arkansas team uh, quite yet. And uh, I have no reason but to believe that they will eventually get there. We've had the same conversation last season about Arkansas, and then it came together, and then they beat uh, Kansas in the second round of the NCAA tournament, had the same conversation the two years before that, and they made the Elite Eight both years. So Arkansas will figure it out at some point. That's just what Must does. But uh, they, right now they're in the bad stuff. We had, it's yeah, I mean, I'm assuming late. so. I'm assuming so. No, that they I, did I it think the this last year. Two years. I think this year it's going to be too late, Rob. I do. I, I I don't think you can keep doing this. You're playing with fire. It's worked no, out. Yeah. But I don't think you can keep digging yourself a hole. In this year's SEC, I don't know if they can reel off exactly. six straight like they've done the last couple of years in January or February to be able to do this. I don't think there's many easy wins in this league to be able to reel off that type of run. I got, I got a hot take, though, and I want your opinion on this, Jarrell. I think that this said – entirely more about how good Auburn is than anything to have to do with Arkansas. Auburn's legit, man. Like, I I'm all the way in. I know that they lost at App State and some people jumped off the bandwagon. Well, look, there's space, man. Jump back on. Let's go. This Auburn Tigers team is tough. They are good. They have really good guards. Aiden Holloway is a perfect fit. Janai Broom is making it all work. Jalen Williams has been really good. Chad Mc Baker Mazzaro is coming off the bench and doing things like this is this is a Bruce Pearl team, and they could play, man. Give them credit. Yep, I'm with you on that, and I've been high on Auburn all year since that first game. I got a chance to watch them against Baylor. Uh, I said they were going to be a lot better than people thought and uh, or kind of gave them credit for it, man, and they, and they showed up and showed out tonight. But, uh, I mean, just like you said, I think, man, the, the must bus is running on E right now. Uh, it's got a flat tire, whatever you want to <laughs> say about it, man. I don't, I don't know if he's going to be able to drag this one over the finish line, man. They really struggled tonight. And like you said, they quit. They got it close. Uh, Minifield made a couple threes and kind of got them back in the game a little bit there and then hoisted up a couple bad ones, uh, early ones in the shot clock. And like you said, you just see the heads dropping. You see the body language. Guys not sprinting back on defense and just giving up easy dunks. And Janai Broom just pretty much got whatever he wanted, man. And to be honest, I didn't think Auburn just played great offensively. So it was just – it was kind of sad to see, especially on your home floor, man. To get smacked like that at home, uh, and from what you guys tell me, it's probably one of the best – one of the best uh, college basketball environments in the nation, man. Uh, that's going to be a tough loss. So they're going to do some soul searching and try to bounce back from this one. Thank you for watching the Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.